Did you see that? Come on, do no. Oh, that is terrifying. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be checking out American Psycho. I have looked into the film a little bit. I know it's Christian Bale that's in it, so I'm expecting good things. That's all I know. It came out in 2000, Christian Bale is in it, and it's a little change from our lately, we've been looking at spoof films, comedy films, stuff along the lines of that. I'm just gonna, you know, change it up a little bit. We get some fresh new, new movies, new genres in here, and I think this is a, a thriller, so we'll see how much of a thriller it actually is. Uh, yeah, I just wanna quickly say thank you for all the new people, welcome, hello. Hope you're all enjoying your stay here. Yeah, there's a lot more videos to come. I have been busy lately with other things. Obviously, I can't just focus all my time on this, but yeah. We're at 350 now subscribers. And I, I want to thank you, uh, you know, everyone who's done something, even commented, said hello. It's, it's just, it means a lot. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy your stay here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is American Psycho. Let's go. That is an old logo. Lionsgate. Didn't even know they were involved. <laughs> also, if the the background lighting is too distracting, please do tell me. I'm trying to look to see if it is, but please please do say something if it is. <laughs> I like the way they're doing this. This is cool. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Willem Dafoe's in it. There you go. And Jared Leto. That's crazy with all the expensive restaurants, so like the portion sizes are smaller. But you pay more for the food. Obviously because it's the quality, I guess. Why aren't we doors yet? Because Bateman won't give the maitre d' head. <laughs> You'd like to take a minute home right <laughs> don't have a good bathroom to do coke in. Are you sure <laughs> on over there? Yes. So these guys all in the same boat. So they're all groupy pals. <laughs> That's some way to skip a queue, I guess. Copyright. We love it. Is she not going to react to that? Or is that his mind? Is that his mind talking to him? That was a bit extreme. <laughs> she didn't even bat an eyelid. My name is Patrick Bateman. I'm 27 years old. In the morning, if my face is a little puffy, I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. <laughs> a goggles ice pack. Jesus! Didn't expect that cut. <laughs> then I apply an herb mint facial mask, which I leave on for 10 minutes while I prepare the well, He's got the routine in the morning. I'm just in the shower and out. Shampoo, soap, just any. But there is no real me. Only an entity. So, so maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable. I simply am not there. Interested. You're actually, you're dusty again. You always get dusty. This room is awful for dust. Oh, this is this is why I don't know this clip from. This is the meme where he puts in the and he's just walking. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> This is Sorry. Any messages? Don't wear that outfit again. What? I didn't hear you. I said, do not wear that outfit again. Wear a dress, a skirt, or something. I'm not here. And high heels. I like high heels. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> Close the blinds. Copyright again. Yes. That's Reese Witherspoon. I'm trying to listen to the new Robert Palmer tape, but Evelyn. My supposed fiance keeps buzzing in my ear. I just realized he's got the earphones in, the headphones. Get married, have a wedding. No, I can't take the time off work. Your father practically owns the company, you can do anything you like, <laughs> silly. Because I want to fit in. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. okay right. Put on there. I'm fairly certain that Timothy Bryce and Evelyn are having an affair. <laughs> Timothy is the only interest. <laughs> you think? I'm almost I'm having an affair with Courtney Rawlinson, her closest friend. She's usually operating on one or more psychiatric drugs. Tonight I believe it's Xanax. Engaged to Lewis Carruthers, the biggest doofus in the business. 
<laughs> Give us. We have to encourage a return to traditional moral values. Most it important. It seems like a good guy, but again, he says he's trying to fit in. So I'm not sure what's going on, really. You following her? Hello. Hmm. What a strange look there, Mr. Bateman. <laughs> That's just weird. Trying to match her pace. What the hell is that? I will kill you. I swear that's like his mind talking or something. It's not actually him. But they really are the best. Then why can't they get these stains out? I mean, can you? Oh, what are those? Oh well, it's cranberry juice, cranapple. Really? Listen, if you could. Her <laughs> face. Really Definitely not cranberry juice. Could you possibly be oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> Is she not hear that in the background? <laughs> Pumpkin, you're dating a tumbling, tumbling dickweed. Can turn that down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Dorcia, um, yes, I know it's a little late, but is it possible to reserve a table for two at eight or eight thirty, perhaps? <laughs> hmm. That's a no. <laughs> Donald Trump's gone. God, Patrick, shut Donald up. Trump. You know You should take some more lithium or have a diet coke. Some caffeine might get you out of this slump. This is Dorothea? Yes, dear. <laughs> no, it's not. Courtney, you're gonna have the peanut butter <laughs> soup with. And Imagine. back to sleep. Dorcia, how impressive. How on earth did you get a reservation there? Lucky, I guess. <laughs> Lion mother. <laughs> That's a wonder. Hello, Halber Stram. Nice tie. How the hell are you? Alan has mistaken me for this dickhead, Marcus Halberstram. Marcus and I even go to the same bar. But oh, all right, okay. I have a slightly better haircut. So how's the <laughs> account? He looks exact same. Uh, call me. Well, that was a demonic Sorry, handover of a bit of paper. Is that a gram? New card. <laughs> what do you think? Very cool, Bateman. But that's nothing. Look at this. That is. <laughs> They're comparing cards. They've all got these like card dispensers. What was going on? Is this what rich people do? Compare vice president cards. Let's see Paul Allen's card. A tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> He's shaking. <laughs> oh man, I need to go back to New York. I went once. I need to go back. You want some uh, money? Some food? Why don't you get a job? If you're so hungry, why don't you get a job? Mm. Insider trading. Hmm, it's a weird confrontation, this. I don't get a job. Don't be a have anything in common with you. dick. Oh, thank you, mister. Thank you. It's not, he's gonna feel like a... What a fucking loser you are. What? Hmm? Yeah, I was about to say. He's gonna put a gun or something, but... You prick. No, you did not. What the fuck? Why has he done that? No, you don't do that. Uh, all respect. Out the window. Don't like him. Fuck you. Patrick Bateman. Something horrible is happening inside of me. And I don't know why. I think my mask of sanity is about to slip. So he is acknowledging that he is a complete and utter psychopath. That's awful what he's just done. Wow. What is it? <laughs> why is there a pig? Darling pets, scound Patrick, you're such a <laughs> What does Mr. Grinch want for Christmas? He's displaying like very little emotions. Yeah, he's he's doing a good job, Christian Bale, at the limited emotions, which would be hard. Sir, would you like to hear the special? Not if you want to keep your spleen. But extreme. Look, <laughs> loin with lime jello. We should have gone to Dorcia. I could have gotten us a table. Nobody goes there anymore. Wasn't Rothschild originally handling the Fisher account? How'd you get it? Well, I could tell you that, Halber Stram. But they don't have to kill you. <laughs> these these two like are weird. Girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Get a tanning bed at home. You should look into it. And uh, great ass. Goes out with that loser Patrick Bateman. What a dork. <laughs> Another martini, Paul. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Okay. They're okay. 
Give it Lewis. Ah, oh, is he gonna? That really gives the songs a big boost. Is he gonna? Yeah, yeah, bah, he's gonna, he's gonna kill him. That's his killing jacket, clearly. Hey, Tiny yes, axe head. Why are the is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. Hip to be square. A song so catchy. Most people probably don't listen to the lyrics. He's dead. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Patrick. He's dead. Well then. Uh, <laughs> this is a brutal film. Like, in a weird way. Like, playing Huey Lewis in the background. <laughs> There's no way nobody is going to notice this. Surely someone's noticed at some point. Oh, check the floor that he just came check. Please. Please. Oh shit. Is that you? Who's buying it? She's she's suspect. I don't know if he is. Where did you get that overnight bag? Right, he's, he's just left a big blood stain on the floor. Also, his apartment was really white. <laughs> that, that's not a good thing for him. I used the keys I took from his pocket before disposing of the body. When I realized that Paul's apartment overlooks the park, it's obviously more expensive than mine. <laughs> I was going to say what does that mean? More expensive. This is Paul. He's been called away to London for a few days. Meredith, I'll call you when I get back. Yeah, he did sound and look similar, so I guess that kind of works. So weird. Is Mr. Donald Kimball here to see you? Who? Detective Donald Kimball. Ooh. Now, John, sure to. Here he is. Old striped shirt calls for. I'm Donald Kimball. Hi, Pat Bateman. Nice to meet you. Sir, by Meredith Powell. To investigate the disappearance of Paul Allen. Oh, all right, okay. I said questions about Paul Allen, about yourself. Coffee? Mm. No, I'm okay. Can you bring Mr. Uh, Kimball? Mr. Kimball, a bottle uh, of no, Apollo. Really, I'm okay. It's no problem. <laughs> Anything. Right, he's acting a bit uh, not on erratic already, like I must I think his family wants this kept quiet. Understandable. Your address? American Gardens Building, West 81st Street. Mm, nice. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks. I hope I'm not being cross-examined here. Do you feel like that? No, not really. <laughs> and where did he go to school? Don't you know this? I just wanted to know if you know. Mm, that smell. I just, I just want to help. <laughs> I understand. One day someone's walking around, going to work, alive, and then... Next day they're not even there. Just opens up and swallows it. If anything else occurs to you, any information. Absolutely, I'm 100 percent with you. Great. Eh, I don't know how that went. I feel like it could have went better, but it could have went worse. It was in the middle, in the middle somewhere. Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Why is he walking out with that on the back? That's some skills. Oh, go on, Christian. A limo? Uh, uh, that is okay. Exception. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's blonde. Who does couples? Can't stress blonde enough. Blonde. My name's Paul Allen. You got that? Oh shit, he's using other names now. It'll respond only to Christy. What what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I mean, he's only getting money, I suppose. Choose a rogue, not the Bijan. The Bichon. <laughs> Just chucks a coat on the, the stool. Don't you want to know what I do? No, not really. They just want money? I work on Wall Street. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> like Phil Collins. Phil Collins, yeah. Been a big <laughs> this is... He's like planned all of this out. What is happening? Your lyrics are as positive and affirmative. <laughs> At this point, I would be a zoned out. What the hell is he on about? Shut up. Especially songs like In the Air Tonight and uh, I can't Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Are they going to get murdered? That is a question. But then, oh, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Miller look. 
he's he's he lives in love with himself by the looks of things. Yeah, definitely. Where is he going? Ah, he's going to his tools. Ouch. Oh, all right, okay. If they have a good personality and they're not. He's just a big narcissist. Ed Gein said about women. Ed Gein, Maitre D. Canal Bar. No, serial killer. This is another Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Street, I think two things. One part of me wants to take her out and talk to her, be real nice and sweet, and treat her right. And what the other part of him think? <laughs> what her head would look like on a stick. Uh, yeah. Please. <laughs> These business cards are so, like, dramatic. What is Wall Street, man? Oh, he's got, like, gold. So he has to be the best. He has to be the best, so that's why he's, like... He's not gonna do it here. Patrick, why here? I've seen you looking at me. Alright. Wrong idea. <laughs> Imagine how long I've wanted this ever since that Christmas party at Arizona 206. You know, the one you were wearing. Definitely not the right idea. Where are you going? I've got to return some videotape. Oh. Okay. I've been wanting to talk with you. He's Come back. Gee, Willem, how's it going? Matsuda? Do you remember where you were the night of Paul's disappearance? I had a date with a girl named Veronica. That's not what I've done. What? That's not the information I've received. When was the last time you were with Paul Allen? We'd gone to a twentieth of new December. Musical called Oh Africa, Brave Africa. How about lunch in a week or so, when I've sorted out all this information? Great. Yes, I'd like that. Huey Lewis in the news. <laughs> Great stuff. I just bought it on my way here. You heard it? Oh shit! That's a tease. Oh, he knows. Uh, lunch next week. I'll be there. Tangled them up. Headphones. <laughs> this is some club, what is this? Are these toilets? <laughs> the weirdest club toilets I've seen in my life. Just be filled with them, didn't you? <laughs> Probably have to blot all that out. Why do Americans call it the name Craig Craig? So, where do you work out? You think I'm dumb, you think all models are dumb. Oh, I really don't. There's something sweet about you. Uh oh, got the blonde hair, the heels, his type. Although, he's not killed any females yet. Or visibly that I've seen in him, I don't think. Yeah, he's weird. So weird. Oh, please tell him that's a detective. Need any help? Meat and bone. The hangover sunglasses are on, I see. Do you want to accompany me to dinner? No, no, I don't have any plans. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Anywhere you want, just say it, I can get us in anywhere. Is that blonde girl dead? Is that what the hair? You can't get in there. <laughs> Is that blonde girl dead now? I don't know. Is that what the hair was signifying? Or did he just cut it off when she wasn't looking? Well, let's say nine o'clock. Oh, we're totally booked. Really? That's great. Perfect. See you then. <laughs> Jean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. She is dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Patrick. I'd love some. Don't eat that. It's just been right next to a decapitated head. What you really want to do with your life? Just briefly. Summer. No, wait. At a point in my life where there seems to be so many possibilities, but I'm What the f- he's got everything in this house. Developing and Did you know that uh, Ted Bundy's first dog, a collie, was named Lassie? <laughs> what? Completely irrelevant. I never wanted to uh, make someone happy. What? No, put it in the carton. Sorry. What's he got? This is like your personal assistant. You can't do this. I guess you could Nailgun. say I just want to have a meaningful relationship with someone special. He's not going to do it. Where are you going to hide that now, idiot? <laughs> I hope you're not out there with some little number you picked up because you're my Mr. Bateman. 
Imagine, imagine you're on your date and you this is on the phone. I don't think I can control myself. So he's like saving her. Get out before. Do you want me to go? If you stay, something bad will happen. Oh, that was tense. <laughs> I'm glad she's safe. She seems to be all right. Oh, here we go. Lunch. The night he disappeared. Any new thoughts? Not sure. Um, Too much. Michelle. Stop. We had dinner with Marcus Halberstrom. And? and he denies it, though at first he couldn't be sure. No. Where were you? At Atlantis. With Craig McDermott, Frederick Dibble, Harry Newman, George Butner, and. Oh, you. Ah, you. Idiot. <laughs> right, yeah. Of course. He's sweating, look at him. <laughs> for a while. Maybe he did go to London. One of his friends killed him for no reason whatsoever. Would be too ridiculous. <laughs> Isn't that right, Patrick? <laughs> he's he's on him, surely. Is he back here again? What is he doing? I had to go to emergency after last time. This won't be anything like last time. Well done. <laughs> Nothing like last time. I promise. Alright. Hmm, don't believe him. I'm gonna just Dish out money, yeah, I thought so. Don't take it. That's for frustrating. Oh, damn it, Patrick, you need to stop. You look really familiar. You know, so far. Anyway, so far. Okay, so he's putting stuff in the drinks. It's nicer than your other apartment. Not that nice. Oh, it's because it's Paul Allen's. <laughs> what do you do? She's my. France. <laughs> what does he put in the wine? Just like to see the two of you get it on. <laughs> Just said that's your cousin. What's wrong with that? You're not Stop drinking. Stop drinking. Don't drink it. In the Houston's debut LP. Here he goes with his music again. And it stills one with the hope that it's not too late to better ourselves. What it's is he chatting? They call crucial. Oh, nice cutaway once again. <laughs> Are you leaving? You're sneaking out. You've got the money. What? It's gonna be locked. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> He's got the fucking chainsaw. Texas chainsaw. What is going on? Oh no! Well, weird. I hope she wins. Oh, oh, go! Oh no, 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 no! Go down the stairs! No, go down. Keep going. Uh. Is the guy at the front door like paid off or something? Stupid! <laughs> Imagine you see that coming down the hall. Oh, that is terrifying. Is he just using it to intimidate her? I can't tell. Oh, is he gonna drop? No, he's not. Oh my god, they got her! What a nut job! Does anyone else live there? Ah, oh, that's cr what just. So he's using Paul Allen's old apartment just to store dead people. What the? F he's getting a bit more out of control now. Need to engage in homicidal behavior on a massive scale cannot be corrected, but uh, I have no other way to fulfill my needs. Say that out loud. What the f it's over. What about the past? Our past. We never. You're inhuman. No, I'm in, yes. I'm in touch with humanity. No. I know my uh, behavior can be <laughs> erratic sometimes. If you want to do something for me, then stop making this scene right now. Oh, God, I can't <laughs> She did it on purpose. Assess the situation and uh, I'm going. Here, kitty, kitty. You dare. Don't fucking hurt the cat. You dare. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, put it away. <laughs> He's just become like a full on. GTA, shoot anyone you see. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? Oh no. He's actually become a full on. <laughs> he just. <laughs> Is that my gun that done that? 
He's, he's lost his mind officially. I mean, he done it ages ago, but fully lost it. He's like went underneath, lost it. Hey, now don't forget to sign in. He's gonna shoot him as well. Oh no. He has to get caught after all of this. This isn't the same building, is it? No, it's not. It's not. Never mind. Ignore me. It's Bateman, Patrick Bateman. <laughs> You're my lawyer, so I think you should know. I've killed a lot of people. Some homeless people, maybe five or ten. Um Five or ten? What? <laughs> the numbers are I killed another girl with a chainsaw. <laughs> this is the only emotion he's shown. And uh Paul Allen. I killed Paul Allen with an axe in the face. His I guess I've killed maybe twenty people. Maybe forty. Uh <laughs> Absolute psychopath. I ate some of their brains. Oh and then tried to cook a little. Oh the f <laughs> why? Oh, this is getting worse. By the way, this acting. This makes me feel uneasy just watching it. How has this man not got caught yet? How is Patrick Bateman living freely? Are they all black and blue navy suits? Okay, we're here. That's where all the bodies were hanging. What's going on? I'm looking for Paul Allen's place. No, he doesn't. Sure. What's going on? Saw the ad in the Times. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There's no ad in the Times. Ah. Uh, so they've renovated the place already. Got rid of everything, and it's been painted. Hmm. That was quick. He just stared into my soul through the camera. That was quite weird. What is going on with him? He be... Pat B. Pat B. Baby boy. Something's up. Your hair's not as perfect as it is. Look at his face. He's like... Eyes are just open. Jesus, yes! That was hilarious. That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, naturally. Bateman killing Alan and the escort girls. That's fabulous. Is he got like the best lawyer in the world? <laughs> uh, stop. I did it, Gart. I killed him. I'm Patrick Bateman. The whole message I left on your machine was true. I'm not Davis. I'm Patrick Bateman. I <laughs> on the phone all the time. I killed Paul Allen. I can't make myself any clearer. And I don't find this funny anymore. It never was supposed to be. Because I had dinner with Paul Allen twice in London. Just ten days ago. No, you... I'm telling you, he's not actually done any of this. He's only imagining it. After that comment especially. Not, has he actually done it? Like, I don't know. What's his mind? <clears throat> he presents himself as this harmless old... All the mayhem I have caused, and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. What do you do next? Maybe he actually has done it. And sharp punishment continues to elude me, and I gain no deeper knowledge of myself. No new knowledge can be extracted from my telling. This confession has meant... Is that? Well, wh what do I think of that? Good. Very good. But what the f was going on at the end there? Okay, so... That was American Psycho. And it ended very abruptly. I don't know, that, that was good. Uh, that was that was a solid film, but acting, by the way. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Christian Bale smashed it. Um, Willem Dafoe, done a good job. Jared Leto's Paul Allen, done a good, they all done good jobs, you know? Enjoyed it. <laughs> Again, I've picked another film that needs to be explained, so I'm gonna have to go off this, research the film, come back to it, and think about it again. I'll think about it in the comments below. I will, this is my direct thoughts after uh, watching the film. I, I don't know what else to say. 
Because I can't explain, the film has been explained that, you know, I got the premise of the film. It just, I need to go hear that a little bit more, see what other people are thinking about, see what other people are saying. Uh, I wish we got a little bit more of Willem Dafoe's detective character, because he was good. But then, it felt like the detective was kind of bailing him out every single time he was getting into him. He was saying, oh, but you were, you know, having a vacation with these guys, so you weren't there. It's like, he was kind of bailing him out. It does feel like money saves you a lot. That's what it's trying to get to. But yeah, American Psycho, let me know what you thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like on the video, it help it get discovered. Leave suggestions below, I've got a long list of suggestions to go through, but the longer the list, the better. It might just take me a little bit longer to go through all these films. Uh, subscribe as well for more reactions, I will be uploading more often. It's just this past week I've had, I've been hectic, busy. Yeah, it's, it's been non-stop. But I've sat down, I've watched American Psycho, and it's been a good film, and I'm happy I watched it. Oh, if I had to rate American Psycho, it was a different kind, I've not, not really used to seeing that sort of film. It was good, the pacing was good, acting was the best part about it, story was good, characters were good. You know what, I'd probably have to give it a solid... Eight. I, I, I've not rated a film below seven yet because I've not really watched a bad film. I've only watched like six films or seven films uh, on the channel anyway. Enough of me rambling on, I'll let you get back to your day. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for all the support recently. It means a hell of a lot. Anyway guys, peace.